Hello, my Aries. Welcome back. Okay, so today we're going to take a peek into who's coming towards you in love and see what we get. This could be anybody, someone you're already dealing with, a new person, someone at the uh, car wash. I mean, we don't know. <laughs> it's a general reading, though, guys, so please take what resonates. I read how I read, and if you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. Okay, so in the pre-shuffle, I was getting... Aries, be careful of third-party situations. I'm not saying that all of you are in one, but I am just would like to forewarn you about them. Big tower moment, if so. Beware, beware, because one of the people, let's say in theory you are in a third-party situation. Well, there are one of those people is quite feisty. Um, and I think this is one of the ones that you like this person, and... Um, or you will, but again, big tower moment. Ruining reputation, I don't know. This this could be somebody that it's very publicly unknown as to what happens. Um, you know, a, a very explosive nature is, is just what I'm feeling in general. So be careful of that. Um, yeah, so... If you are in a third party, I wouldn't make either one of them too public because, again, big explosion, okay? Can't stress that enough. All right, so moving on from that, for those of you that are not dealing with that specific um, scenario, I feel as if there could be a love interest, somebody that you may want to impress this person or you find them attractive, um... But I'm getting the same sort of aggressive energy. I feel like they're, this individual is hard to tame. I feel like they're also kind of hot at the mouth. So, I mean, however this resonates, as if this is Crosswatcher or you, but I'm getting someone here. But you know what's interesting is the other person that's dealing with this hot, tempered individual. I mean, this person will let you know. You know, if you... you you bite, they bite back type of deal, okay? So whoever feels that way, but there is a lot of... Um, there is a lot of feelings here and it feels kind of possessive, but the other individual that's dealing with this aggressive person, I don't feel like they want to give up. No. In fact, I kind of think that somebody's attracted to this hot tempered, uh, hottie here, <laughs> hot tempered hottie. I don't know, but you know, um, if this is whoever this resonates for on whatever side, I feel like, you know, there may be temporary walking away from this individual, but always coming back. Or you will, if you don't know this person yet. I'm just getting a lot of intensity. But I want to say that this person is genuine. And they may have a very sweet side to them. But quite a sting. Oh, quite a sting. There could be issues in communication or temporary temporary moments where it, communication like goes blank. And somebody here could be dealing with um, healing. And when that happens, if there is moments, somebody might be dealing with um, healing. There's some sort of healing, either of an illness or a toxic situation. Yeah, what an intense love interest here, Aries. Woo! But you like it. Or they like this about you. Don't play, don't play. That's why I say don't piss this person off. <laughs> They're going to they let you know, or you will let them know. Again, we know to take how this resonates. What's the overall energy, please, for Aries in love? Woo! It's hot in here. You're reading. Maybe it's double fire. Maybe you're dealing with another fire sign, because it is. I'm more toasty doing your reading. <laughs> Overall energy, please, for Aries in love. See? Passion ignited at the bottom of the deck. Lots of intensity, desire, wanting. And this comes also intuitively, too, of the mind with the third eye chakra. You may 
you're you may be dealing with someone who's very intuitive but i also feel like you kind of pick up on them as well but i think this into this person part of the reason they may kind of attack you in moments or they will they will or they have um because you, they just can't be fooled they have an extremely um sensitive well they they got the sensi on okay You may know that about this person. Could make you a little bit guarded towards them at some point as well. Because I, I feel like their energy is so intense that you, like when they decide to attack, you're like, hey, 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 hey. You got me, you know, it's almost like you got to block them to shut them down. Dealing with like a lioness over here or a lion. Masculine, feminine. Okay, who's coming towards Aries? Let's see who's coming towards you in love if we get a different energy. It could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I am... <laughs> they could have a combination of water and fire. <laughs> who's coming towards Aries, please, in love? Who's coming towards Aries? Okay. They're probably younger than you with the sun card. I feel like you find this indivi indiv individual to be fun. I'm sorry to say this. Um, this won't apply for everybody, but this person may have lost a child or some sort of... Uh, or, or there's something that like happened to a child near them or I don't know. Uh, hopefully that won't apply to most, but I was getting that all of a sudden, the tower card in the sun. This person may actually not be coming towards you. They could be waiting on something else or um, if they were waiting on you, they may walk away from this. They may also have recently left a place that they put a lot of time into. Something, Seven of Pentacles and Eight of Cups. It's like they're walking away from something that didn't grow like they wanted or it was boring. They just left something behind. It's a way. Um, this person is really good at making things happen and moving them forward. They're, they're a creator. I was hearing something about plants as well. One more card for who's coming towards. They could be buying a home as well, or they do something with investments, homes, or properties. Um, and then the Knight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Um, this person doesn't have a lot of, I feel as if they're a very emotional and romantic person, but they don't have a lot of focus in the realm of love. I don't feel as if they are nurturing that. So Things could be inconsistent from this per. I just feel like they, they haven't been loved properly or they don't love themselves properly. So while they're romantic and sweet, there's something that's like, um, I don't know. The Five of Pentacles just sort of drained. This person could be tired maybe is what I'm getting. Because the Knight of Cups, this, they're, they're sweet. They're a sweet person. They're just, they may have less to say or they might not have a lot to say or if they did at one point, you'll notice a decline if you already notice this, if you already know this person, I can't speak, sorry. All right, what, did, what does this individual want to say to Aries in love?
And I'm just not getting them really speaking a whole lot. What does this person want to say to Aries, please, in love? They could have been left by someone, perhaps a water sign. They could have a water sign on their mind that walked away from them or stopped speaking to them. I don't know. Um, okay, what does this person want to say to Aries? Well... They want to enlighten you on what burdens their mind, on what's going on, maybe past memories. Ace of Swords in the Sun card here with the High Priestess and the Ten of Wands. The burdens they carry on their mind, the things that they... Um, this person may have a lot of nightmares or... For some of you, this, this individual could have possibly been in the service or have some sort of PTSD from an event in their life. And I'm getting like the memories haunt them. Um, yeah, there was like trauma that happened to this individual with the tower card. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio. But I also want to say that with this Ace of Swords and Sun, Card, whatever it is that they tell you, it's, you know, they make you feel good. What they say is going to kind of make you feel good. You, there's happiness revolving their thoughts towards you. But they also want to bring something to your awareness to tell you to, to bring something to light for you. They could have mood swings or there's, you know... Again, going through something here, definitely. Okay, so how will Aries, or how does Aries feel about this person? Or how will they? I think you have feelings for them. You may know they're going through a change in their life, or... But they may make you feel attacked or, or or somebody here. I don't know. Or you might find them to be conflicted. I'm getting just like... Okay. How does Aries feel about this person? I think you want success with this individual. You may watch them and like how they carry the, themselves and, you know, it's like, I'm just getting a, a wanting general success. Um, three of Wands and the Lovers, waiting on this connection. I actually feel like, and with the, um, the Justice card here, waiting for balance to return into this connection or waiting for balance in this connection. And if this is a new person, then you'll notice that they bring that. Or they're going to try to. With the Emperor, here's your energy. I feel like you want to connect with this person. You Commitment material. And if you've already kind of laid with them before, you enjoy laying next to them. Things like that. But... Yeah, um, but I get that you're mostly waiting. The Emperor, you know, he knows what he wants, but I'm feeling with this Three of Wands that you're just waiting to see what happens. Could be a water sign. I'm getting a lot of emotion from this individual, so that would make sense. But, um, yes, you may actually choose over time to commit to... You may know them in a group setting somehow, but there's one that that one person that um, and even if there hasn't something been something verbally spoke about this yet, there's someone that you would choose over the rest or out of the group or that you kind of would like to commit to. I, I don't I don't know. I'm, I'm just getting that. 
All right, that's what I have for you, Aries. Bye-bye.